Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install custom songs on Beat Saber on your Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2s. It's really simple to do. Now, you do need to have SideQuest. If you do not have SideQuest, just stay tuned to this video. I'll be showing you guys how to install it and get that set up with your Quest and Quest 2s. But if you already have SideQuest, I will have a time card linked in the description as well as in the comment section down below for you guys just to skip to the next portion after you have SideQuest installed. Anyhow, I'm going to show you guys how to install SideQuest. So the first step that you guys want to do is you guys want to go and Google Oculus Dashboard. It'll just bring you to dashboard.oculus.com. I'll have a link in the description and the comment section down below. Uh, so you guys can just click on it. Uh, but you just want to click on that link and you want to sign in. I'm already signed in here. Uh, but once you're signed in, you guys will notice it'll give you a couple options on the right side here where it says create new app or create new organization. You want to click on create new organization. Then here you could type in any of any name you would like for your organization. It's basically going to be the name of your developer account. So you can go in here and put whatever you would like. So I just put like test account because I already have one. And then you could just click I understand. So just make sure you read this and you agree to the terms and conditions for this. Uh, and once you do, you can click I understand and then just click on submit. And then the first step's done. The next step that you guys want to do is go to the next link I have in the description. It's for your Oculus ADB drivers. You want to go into that link and then you just want to click on the check mark beside I have read and agreed to the terms of the license. If you would like to read the license, you can just click on license and it'll bring it up there for you to read it. Uh, but otherwise, you just want to click on download. Once it's downloaded, you just want to go open the file. And when you're at your file here, you just want to use a program like WinRAR. I'll also have that link in the description if you don't have that already. Um, but once you have WinRAR, you just want to right click on the file and then click on extract here. This will then bring you a broken down file folder right here. You can then go into that file folder all the way until you see Android underscore win USB, the setup information file. So you just want to right click on that and then click on install. Once you click on install, it's going to bring up a little um, window that's going to ask you to click yes or no. You want to click yes on it. And then after you do that, it will say the operation completed successfully. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, you just want to restart your PCs and then come back to the tutorial. The next step is you just want to go over to the applications on your mobile phones, whether that's Android or iPhones. I'm just on an iPhone right here. You just want to open up your Oculus application and you want to go to your settings. So I'm just going to go to the bottom right corner to my settings. And then it's going to show your Oculus Quest is nearby. So you want to go ahead and click on where it says that. And then it'll start connecting to your Quest. You just want to make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi connect on your phone as you are on the Oculus Quest as well. Uh, once that is done, you want to click on more settings when that pops up. And then you want to click on developer mode. And you just want to ensure that your developer mode is enabled. So just turn that on right there because that'll connect to the name that we made previously on the Oculus website. So now what you need to do is you need to find a USB C to A cable or a C to C cable, depending on what computer you're plugging it into, or if you're plugging into a Mac, um, you might be able to find that laying around the house for an older Android phone, uh, or you can get one at your local Walmart or on Amazon or something like that. Uh, now, once you plug your headset into the computer, you just have to go back to your headset and you're gonna see something that says allowing debugging. I'll attach a screenshot to the screen right here. Um, so you just have to click allow on that. And also you can click on always allow from this computer. So you're able just to not have to worry about having to go in the headset every time you want to plug it in for side quest so I would highly recommend you guys do that um, but yeah so just go ahead and plug that in and click on allow and then we can move on to the next step and once you have your quest plugged in you just want to go to the next link I have in the description for side quest uh, just want to make sure that you download the latest version so if you just click the link that I have there it'll always be the latest version and you just want to click on the system that you have whether it's Mac or Windows uh, so I'm just click on Windows and then the download will start at the bottom you just want to click on it to open it up and then just go through the installation process for SideQuest. Once it's done, you just want to run it. So you can just click on finish and run SideQuest. And then it'll open up for the first time here. And once the program is opened up, you'll know everything is connected when you see the green dot up in the top left corner beside the headset that you'll be using, which in my case is the Oculus Quest 2. Uh, once you have everything connected and you're signed into an account, you just want to go ahead into the next link I have in the description as well as in the comment section down below. It'll be to where you have to install BMBF, which is the program that we're going to be using to put custom songs onto your Quest and Quest 2s. So let's go ahead and click on that link. And once you're on the BMBF website, you just want to make sure that you know what update of Beat Saber that you are on. Once you know the update, you just want to make sure that you get the right BMBF APK file for that update. Uh, so I'm updated on the latest one right here, which is 1.13.0. But if you need any different... Uh, BMBF files or APKs, you can go down here and just make sure you match the one with the updated Beat Saber that you're on. Now to download it, you just want to click on the letters right here under name. Once you click on that, the APK file will start to download. And once it's done downloading, you can head back over to SideQuest. And once you're back on SideQuest, you guys can just go up to the top of the screen where you see this little file folder with the arrow pointing down. You want to click on install APK file from a folder on your computer. 
Then you want to go to where your file is located. In my case, it's in my downloads. And I can just click on the APK file and click on open. And then we'll start to download the APK and install it to your headset. And then we'll show you guys what to do when you're in your headset. And once you're on your headset, you just want to go to where your apps are located and click on that. And then once you click on that, you want to go to the top right corner where you see all. Click on that. Scroll down and click on unknown sources. And you'll see BMBF right here. You can go ahead and click on that. And then once you're in your headset, you will see this screen right here. Uh, you just want to scroll down and read it and click on continue. And then it'll bring you to the next portion, which it'll tell you to uninstall Beat Saber. So all you want to do here is just click on uninstall Beat Saber. And then it will start to uninstall. And once it's done, you just want to click on OK to uninstall the application. And then it will finish up. And then you just want to click on Patch Beat Saber once the patch notice comes up here. And then that will take a couple seconds as well. And once that is done, you just have to read some of this here. It's just letting you know that it's going to be installing a different version of a modded Beat Saber application. All you have to do here is just click on the Install Modded Beat Saber button at the bottom of here. And then this will just take a couple seconds as well to finish up. All I have to do here is just click on Settings. And then you have to go into your settings, scroll down, and you have to allow the installation of unknown app sources. So just click on this and click on OK to enable it. And then just go back and it'll bring you back to BMBF and you can just click on install. And then it will finish installing the Beat Saber application. And once it is done, you can just click on done. And then BMBF will then open up for you. When, if this pops up for you, this just is asking you if you have any old Beat Saber files that you want to restore. If you want to, you just click on Restore. And once you're in Beat Saber, if you want to download songs, you just click on the little arrow pointing down. And then you will see up in the top right corner here that it'll start to download. And once you're in Beat Saber, you just want to click on Continue. Then just go to Solo. And then if you see all the way to the right, you'll see Custom Songs and Custom Maps. This is where all your custom songs will be located here. Now you can scroll up and down on here if you would like to, to go through all of your songs, which is one way to do it. Another way to do it as well is just go up to the top of your screen here where you see this little point down. Click on that and then you can also search by typing a letter on the left side of your screen or you can go up to the top search bar and search for a song that way So if you have a lot of songs like I do. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to get custom songs on Beat Saber on your Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2s. If this video helped you out, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.